Guys, Greg Nudo here, and I want to talk to you about the double stroke roll. And uh, it's a two-part, it's a two-part video, and uh, the second will be a demonstration. And today I want to talk to you about uh, how I would approach a double stroke roll with somebody who wants to learn it. Now, first I want to say I see a lot of guys teaching uh, the first stroke to a to a to a newcomer. From, some, from a brand new drummer, and I see a lot of, like I talked about the molar thing that I don't teach, and uh, uh, I see a lot of people approach it that way, the drums that way, so I like to do something different uh, with, the, with, with the first teaching on the double stroke roll, and uh, which I don't incorporate any kind of unneedless uh, energy from my hands. So I want to do something right now where, before we get into the double stroke roll, I want you to see how my hand ties into maybe a ride beat. Let's do a ride beat first. And you could do this with a funk beat, which I have a 16th note pattern with my right hand. I just want to, I want to show you three components of how I'm using my wrist. Bouncing, which I, I, don't, I don't hear people mention that, and fingers. So, and it's not fingers or, or bouncing in a, in, a, in a circus act type of way. This is incorporating in regular drumming uh, to make my hands work better. And uh, uh, it, it'll be very interesting. It's pretty interesting. So let me show you a ride beat and uh, how I would approach it at first, okay? So I'm going to do the ride beat, and let, let's, I'm going to take it slow at first, okay? And I just want to show, show you guys something. So uh, real nice and easy, okay? That's very slow, and as the camera is still on the symbol, I want to show you, uh, even then, there was a little fingers incorporated. So I want to show you up, up, up time what my hand looks like. Faster. I see a lot of guys teach, uh, they, they talk about the wrist on, on well, you can't play, I wouldn't play it like this, and they'll, they'll go like, I've, I've never seen anybody teach drums like that, uh, and, and uh, Henry Adler, when I, 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 I taught with Henry, it was always, uh, uh, it, it was, we never just used our wrist like that. So, uh, as you can see, when I do a ride beat, or maybe a 16th note pattern, you see how I'm incorporating the fingers, I'm bouncing a little bit, and I'm using my wrist, and forearm if necessary. So, as we go back to the snare drum, we have uh, an introduction to the double stroke roll, and I wanted to show you those three things because the double stroke roll, which I'm going to, on my demonstration video, it incorporates a lot of things, and it's very subtle, it's, a, I, I think, a lot easier than the single stroke roll. Uh, it's not, single stroke roll, you have to work a little harder. The double stroke roll is, it's a little more fluid, and uh, Steve Gadd, Dave Weckl, masters of double stroke roll. And uh, there's so many things. Uh, it's probably the most, one of the most important technical things we can do. So, starting out slow, I want to show you the in the beginning a double stroke roll. Let me do it matched because I think more people play matched. And uh, so there's a nice stroke right there, right? And even in, even there, I can feel a little bouncing. Even there, even that very slow. Now, on my demonstration video, I'm going to go from press to playing louder, to 
playing faster. But there we go, right there. That's a nice, nice and even. And if I double it up, I feel a lot more bouncing. Now let's go back to the other way. As you can see, my hands are even. Fingers loosely around the stick. My fingers never leave the stick, but in a loose fashion. Let me double up again, so you can see. Nice and relaxed. Now what I see with other techniques is, uh, there's a lot of unevenness. And God knows we've all heard Dave Weckl and how, how even, and, and I think any great drummer, or double stroke roll is very even. So on my demonstration video, which is on part two, I get into a lot of, I just want you guys to study my hands, and see how, 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 how much I can get from this technique. Now, as I said earlier, and I, and I know I go fast, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to slow things up a little bit, but Henry, we did all the rudiments with our turning. Not in a, in, in the very beginning we snapped, but we did all the rudiments, all the rudiments, with wrist, with bouncing, and fingers. Now that's a lot there. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff to work on. But it's very important that I, I talk about those three components because there's a lot of stuff being taught out there that I, I, I see a lot of stuff that's like totally opposite of, of uh, uh, what Henry taught me and what I've gone on to do on my own, you know, and, uh, and it's very important that people know that it's wrist or the forearm for volume, the fingers, and bouncing. And bouncing is very subtle. If I do a press roll, that's what you'll see on the demonstration. Very subtle. Very subtle. But that's bouncing. That's bouncing right there. It's physics. It's science. It's science. I can't play, I don't know a drummer alive who could, who could play a ride beat without bouncing, with that tempo, but I have control, and the name of the game to all this stuff is control, and that's the benefit of the, these teachings, it's, it's control, I'm a drummer that's in control, uh, for example, I see a lot of people on YouTube, and they go, well, well I'm going to show you my, my four rough blast, you know, and they go... I can't even do it. It's like, or it's more a little more controlled. But it's, all I hear is like three notes. No, with the Henry Adler system, it's what I think comes out. So, what I want you to do is with the double stroke, is play a nice, and whether you're watching TV, be like Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee used to kick underneath the kitchen table. I mean, if you're going to practice, be obsessed about this art, then you're going to practice a lot. So I would just take, just take that nice double, play it with a metronome, maybe double it up so you incorporate your fingers a little bit, and eventually you're going to learn how to play faster, and you're going to learn how to bounce. and strive for evenness and control. So if I want to go it's right there. Anything I think is right there. So again, it's subtle, it takes time, it takes practice, but we start here. 
we double it up. More triplets. Whatever you want to do to make yourself more comfortable and better. And eventually the technique is going to come. The technique will come, I promise you, if you incorporate those three elements. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's much more than, than people say using the wrist. There's so much more to that te the technique than that. That kind of uh, what I see a lot of teachers do. And uh, there's no reason. Uh, uh, I don't see a reason for doing un unwanted movements and lifting the stick up here and going like this and all that. It, it doesn't work for me. And, and I need to be devoted to the way I teach and, uh, and to my, my teachings because that's all I know. So uh, I, I prove it on my videos, my technique, and, uh, and that the system works. And uh, so watch my part two which is the doubles demonstration, and uh, I'll try to make more videos on, on this technique and go slowly, so uh, you really take in what this has to offer. So until next time, guys, Greg Vito. All right!